Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, finally we get to speak to Lauren. And even though uh, Lauren is uh, young and 23 years old, but uh, 24 now, but uh, at 23 you get to join the New York Stock Exchange. Can you talk a little bit about your story? Yeah, so my story, I'm from Marietta, Georgia, the suburbs of Atlanta, and uh, I graduated with a genetics degree, and the day I graduated, I decided I was going to move to New York and not pursue a career within genetics. Came to New York, did a whole bunch of networking, I think I reached out to over 300 people, I met a guy on the, met a guy who introduced me to another guy on the trading floor, and the rest is history. I became the second African-American woman uh, female trader at the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, uh, let, let's start over. This is a, a woman history month. So let's not talk about meeting a guy and uh, getting to the Wall Street and uh, uh, like as, as a, a, a feminist, as a, a lady, what have you done? Like how that uh, put you in the front of the uh, Wall Street? Like, is there any particular angle that you have? Uh, you obviously have the smarts, you have the beauty, you have the uh, abilities. Like, how that uh, could be uh, Im important and make sense at the uh, Wall Street? It, there are so many people trying to get there, and for so very few succeed. What is your angle? Like, wh why did you uh, conquer? I would say networking for sure. I mean, I, I know we're making this about Women's Month, which is great. Uh, my hero happened to be a male, um, but I think the power of networking is going to be your best friend. I had zero connections here in New York, but I reached out to any and anybody who listened to me. I mean, I definitely had people saying I was reaching too high or I didn't have any clear direction because I wanted to leave, uh, not continue to pursue my genetics degree. And, and there was one person that really went to bat for me and and I'm so happy that I was able to meet him. But if it wasn't him, it, I honestly think it would have eventually have been another person along the way. But powering power of networking is definitely going to be your best friend. Uh, okay, let's talk a little bit uh, quickly about networking. Uh, there are different ways to network. Uh, some folks uh, go to the meetings like today and network and meet people. Some people go on like uh, social media like Facebook, Instagram. Uh, some folks uh, like write emails and uh, like uh, letters and uh, make phone calls. Uh, what do you think uh, the the best recipe for networking? How do networking works for you? So networking, I would definitely say, isn't cut and dry. Uh, no one's two stories are going to be the same, but I think you do need to be realistic. Uh, my mom, she works within HR for a large, large, large company. Um, and for one job posting, she gets anywhere between eight and 12,000 applicants. So if you actually want to have a chance... Um, because they're really not going through 12,000 applications, to be honest. It really is going to be a sense of who you know. So if you want a chance, my advice, I mean, what I did, but again, there are different avenues. I went on LinkedIn. I reached out to people that were in uh, HR recruiting roles, that were in senior executives, people that would be in power decision roles um, that would at least be able to get me into the building to talk to someone else or to actually have me apply for the job. Um but I think as far as making sure you have your resume down and doing this, although these are very important, it's not as important in today's society because they're just not reading 12,000 resumes. It's really going to be the face-to-face -face connection and who do you know. Okay. Uh, if folks would like to maybe uh, get a little bit more advice from you, do you have any social media like uh, Facebook, Instagram? Yes. So you can follow me at, on Instagram at L.A. Simmons. And you could also reach me on LinkedIn. I have a huge following on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Yeah. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, LinkedIn for professionals, probably the best media at this point. Thank you. Thank you.